Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Enjoy! Welcome to Elliot Heads, a small coastal town at the mouth of the Elliot River, not far from Bundaberg in Queensland. As a town, there's not much here. A surf club, takeaway coffee shop and a general store. There is, however, a large holiday park that proves very popular during the Australian holiday periods. But for me, the real star of Elliot Heads is this place, Dr May's Island and Rock Pools. Yes, this is an island. At low tide, the sandbar is revealed and allows you to walk to the island. But at high tide, the area where I'm standing now would be in waist deep water. The kids love it here. It was so hard to tear them away onto the next destination. So, Dr May's Island. It was once part of the mainland, but now at high tide, it's separated from the mainland. The island is sparsely vegetated with a few prickly pears, palm trees, and some ground cover. During the warmer months, the island is closed to the public to protect 42 species of shorebirds that migrate from Siberia and Alaska to nest, feed and roost. From September to April no one is permitted on the island, but you are allowed to go and explore the rock pools. The rock pools are a naturally occurring rock formation just to the east of Dr May's Island. At low tide the rocks are exposed, trapping water and marine life until the next high tide. The kids had a ball spotting the sea life and chasing small fish around the shallow pools. Just a short drive from Elliot Heads is Tina Berries, a small strawberry farm where you can pick your own or sample the best fresh fruit ice cream I've ever tasted. Kids had a great time in the fields picking strawberries. Jats was in charge as she was the strawberry expert, telling us which ones are the best one to pick. Tina Berries is a great spot for a travel break to relax and unwind.
Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.